Hi, my name is Lexis, and I'm going to be your uh, medical assistant today. Can I have you uh, tell me your name and your date of birth? Uh, my name is Jaden Kellogg, and yeah, my birthday is January 10th, 2001. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some bandage turns. Um, I'm going to first start off with a circular bandage turn, and you would use a circular bandage turn um, to anchor a bandage, and it's for uniform width. Uniform width. Yes, uniform width and um, for toes, fingers, and the head. So I'm gonna first start by um, having a corner. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Can you get a little closer? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start with a corner and I'm going to wrap it and then I'm going to hold the corner down and wrap it. And that is a circular turn. And then the next one I, we're going to do is a spiral turn. So um, every turn you want to um, start with a circular turn, um, just to anchor the bandage down. And then for a spiral turn, you're just going to um, turn it and you're going to have it um, two thirds the width of the bandage. Um, yeah. You're gonna, be overlapping it two thirds of um, the way. And then next, we're going to do the spiral. Oh, for the spiral um, turns, you those are used for uniform circumference um, areas. And yeah, so then we are going to do the spiral reverse turn, and that is for variation of widths, um, such as the forearm or the lower leg. Um, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, um, you have your finger down and then you uh, do that. So, have your finger down. And same with the spiral turn, you want to make sure it's covered two-thirds of the way <laughs> and yeah and also with that turn you want to make sure you're doing a circular turn before you begin that turn and then for the last turn it is the figure eight turn and I'm gonna do it on the foot um, you um, just you first want to start with circular turn so um, so I'm going to start with a circular turn and hold down a corner. And then I'm going to, I'm going to start by doing figure eight. And this is just going to, um, hold any dressings down or, um, immobilize an injured joint and so that is a figure eight you also to figure eight, you want to be going um, over it two thirds of the way um, as well so yeah um, for um, explaining instructions to the patient want to make sure they understand what I'm saying to them um, they speak the same language they're, they're um, I would get a translator if they didn't speak a different or if they spoke a different language and also, I would, um, um, after putting the bandages on, I would chart everything down. I'll say the date, the time, the type, and the location of the bandage. And I would print him out some wound care or bandage care instructions to take home. And yeah, that's, that's it.